What's up everyone? You're at the stand right now or just trying to make your list for 2022 and I'm going to go over the best finale that you can buy in 2022. What you're looking at now is the TNT Delirium. This will run you $74.99. All the finales are very, very pricey this year, but this one for the best bang for your buck, $74.99 compared to like opening chill, which is 100 and like Allegiance, 120 Delirium is one of my favorites still to this day. I really like the crackle, really like the red going on here. The three tube crackle, one of my favorite. If you're familiar with the channel, you're for familiar with the patented beast finale. So these fountains that you see on the ground are the uh, TNT Centennial fountains. Each one of these fountains will run you $19.99. If you can buy two, three, or four, these are awesome. You can kind of fuse them up with the TNT Fire Crackle. This will definitely kind of win your block if you're having a, a fountain only battle uh, because the amount of crackle you get out of these fountains are pretty much just as good if not better than the opening show. Um, borderline uh, rivals the retro here and for the price, uh, one of my favorites. Really like the effect here because you see you got this cool willow effect. Have all these three tubes, six tubes going off. Nine tubes if you got three, and then you just got this enormous amount of crackles. Sixty dollars for this, way better than any finale you can buy for the price if they have them at the stand you're at right here. 19.99. This is what it looks like the TNT Centennial Fountain. Definitely need to grab that if it's available. If it's not, the runner-up would be Delirium. 74.99. Uh, absolutely stay away from the Allegiance and Candy Paint. And Wizard Alley, not really a fan of those. Jumbo Purple Rain, kind of overpriced for what it is. I uh, wouldn't pay that. Um, if you have the budget, my ranking would obviously be first and foremost be the TNT Centennial 1999s. Next up, Delirium, 7499 opening show. Atomic Salsa and the Centennial Fountain XL are pretty much the same, so whatever you get your hands on if you have the budget. Uh, Living the Dream is uh, very similar to Wildside. A little bit better crackle on that one, um, but it's it's down on the list if I had to pick one and only one on this list it would be delirium and number two would be opening show uh, obviously the prices are insane this year but you know uh, I have to make a list because some people do have the budget and if you don't the TNT Centennial Fountain is always a good runner-up um, but I just like to make these quick little videos for you guys doing your bit lists or you're at the stand trying to find out what's the best because you're looking at the paper you have no idea what they do um, just want to give you guys as much in information as I can because I've been doing this for, I don't know, 15 plus years and the prices have never been this high. But I can still tell you the Delirium Fountain is probably your best bang for your buck if you have the budget for it. Next up, obviously, opening show. That's it for the finales. Kind of slim pickings this year. We'll have an updated video. Um, we'll have like a whole, when we get closer to the date, um, I know Freedom slash DFS as well as Phantom, they usually release their prices a little later, like pretty much June 23rd, 24th seems to be when they uh, release their stuff. Um, we'll do kind of like a, a final updated list uh, out of all the stands what the best items are. But this is TNT specific, so if you only have TNT accessible to you, this is your list. Um, just want to throw this out there. These are the best finales for 2022 for the price with these crazy price increases. Alright guys, see you next video.